Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? Nate Waits back here with another video, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, to be exact. And I want to talk about realism in Call of Duty, guys. Because, you know, we're about to see a new Call of Duty in the making on November 3rd, I believe, actually. I don't know. It's coming up soon, guys. In November, we're going to see Call of Duty World War II at its best, guys. So, no more jet pack, no more jet pack and no more, you know, jumping around doing, you know, crazy stuff like this in this game. But, um, you know... I just want to talk about, you know, what's going to be in the new World War II and compare it to, like, you know, what we are playing now with Black Ops 3 and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Okay, so, you know, in Infinite Warfare, we've we've seen a lot of, you know, robotic and, you know, jetpack and, you know, just special ability type, just type stuff that, you know, we normally did not see in the earlier Call of Duties, for instance. Modern Warfare and, you know, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, the original Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. You know, we didn't really see so much of ad advanced, you know, technology and just advanced things in the game. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's really shaping up to be something different for us again. It's really shaping up to, you know, go back to its roots and, you know, something that we're going to really enjoy. So, I'm happy to see it and I'm happy to be a part of the Call, Call of Duty community again, guys. And if you guys didn't know that, you know, there's a, actually, in Call of Duty, there's, it's not really real. You know, I, I, I say it as this because uh, when you shoot somebody, the bullets are directly direct. So, like, when you when you press that shoot button, it's not, the, that bullet is not traveling. It may look like it's traveling, but it's not. It's, it, it's a direct hit simulator on, you know, your gun, and, you know, once you shoot it, you're directly hitting people if you're aimed at that person. So, you know, we, we've, we've seen, you know, not non-realistic things in Call of Duty a lot, but, you know, that's one of, one of the big factors of it, so. so. A lot of people in the Call of Duty community are starting to argue about the new camo that they leased, that they leaked, actually, on World War II for the DLC, like zombies or whatever. It's it's an animated camo and it's it's animated. So you know a lot of people are you know having commotion about that because it's World War II and everything's supposed to be realistic. You know everybody wants to realistic and everything like that. You know my take on that is that you know you can't really please everybody. You know y you try to put something into the game and if it doesn't fit them, then they're gonna you know. They're gonna they're gonna tell you about it. They're gonna be mad. They're gonna you know give their and they're gonna give their you know opinions and it's it's not gonna be good. So you know to the developers of Call of Duty, I I strongly you know would say that you don't want to lose your you know fan base because we saw how it was in Advanced Warfare it was a disaster. So Call of Duty just you know do what the fans want. Just don't do anything. That's going to make them, you know, avoid the game. So, just keep on doing what we want to see. So, yeah, I mean, that's really all I got for you guys for today, man. Just Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare, World War II. We don't want to see anything jumping around. Jetpack, lasers, futuristics, nothing, none. We don't want to see that. Guys, I'm out of here. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video. Peace out, guys.